The problem with bears in Sudbury isn't going away anytime soon. In fact, police say they had to shoot and kill a 500-pounder today on Woodbine Avenue in New Sudbury. They say it was injured and was posing a threat. City police and people handling the MNRF's Bearwise line are getting several calls each day about the troublesome creatures. Tonight, we look into one man's idea on how to keep the animals out of the city. But as CTV's Alana Everson tells us, the Ministry of Natural Resources and Forestry says it's a complex issue. These bears recently paid a visit to Lionel Rudd's front yard. He's been following the nuisance bear issue in Sudbury closely and is suggesting an emergency bear feeding program. If we can round up feed for deer, surely we can round up some good, smelly, tasty stuff for bears. Rudd believes it would help keep black bears like this from coming into the city scrounging for food. We're not going to have no bears. That's dream, but we can at least slow down the traffic. Rudd says food scraps and compost could be collected and dropped in remote bush areas. The Ministry of Natural Resources and Forestry declined an on-camera interview to discuss the idea, but responded by email. It says providing human foods to black bears as a method of creating a diversion away from human habitation is not an effective management technique. Natural food shortages are natural processes that bears face periodically throughout their lifetimes. It goes on to say providing food to bears, intentionally or otherwise, may actually increase populations. Still, Rudd believes an emergency feeding program could help curb the bear problem. It will reprogram the bears to search elsewhere for food. This is a recent post on Facebook, a picture highlighting the nuisance bear problem in the city of Sudbury. Elena Everson, CTV News.